All right, so we got Dave Batista plays Mortal Kombat One. Let's go to the video. They have man Batista playing Mortal this Kombat. Is Mortal Kombat. And obviously, my voice has gone now from screaming uh, Mortal Kombat all day. But I love this because it connects. It directly connects me to my past. So it's oh, yeah? more personal. And it feels so. It feels more gratifying. It feels more. I don't know. Like but this, you look like a character you know, that could actually be in the I game. Like being king, because King did the bicycle kick and he could Fact. actually turn into a drunk. Hey, but hey, but this, hey, but this, me yeah, and you, we no, like, like twins. Like, so I just want to hear him say, get over here. Get over here. <laughs> like a G. Get over here. <laughs> Still, video game is not that realistic where it feels so real that it's uncomfortable. Nice. I agree with that. I agree. You know what? He made it. Listen. He made a really good point. He made a really good point. He said that it's realistic and it's almost lifelike, but it's not too realistic. It's not too realistic. Uh, to the point that's not, uh, like, you know, uncomfortable. And I 1,000% agree with that. And honestly, man, I just feel like a lot of gaming companies nowadays, you know, and I said this, you know, in, in a video about a few weeks ago. I don't know what video it was, but I'm pretty sure I recall myself saying this, but you don't always have to make your game realistic. You know, you don't always have to make your graphics. Um, sorry for the burp. Like, 8K, you know, um, I, I can see every single pimple on, on the person's face you don't always have to do that you know um obviously you can make your your game you know um high quality but you don't have to make it uh to the point to where you know we can see every little thing or, or, or basically it's like a, it's basically like like in real it's basically like real life in the game basically you know um i feel like a lot of gaming companies they put so much time um into how it looks and stuff like that but when at the end of the day you know if, if the you know if the gameplay isn't right the gameplay like, you know, the game won't work out. And uh, I feel like that's why, I feel like that's how a lot of gaming, uh, a lot of gaming companies get stuck because they think that, okay, we need to make the best high quality game, da 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 da, da. You really don't, man. There's a lot of games out here that, that don't really have, um, that, mm, I mean, that looks good, but, you know, that doesn't really require, you know, um, they, they don't really have, you know, these high graphics, whatever, but at the same time, they're really fun, you know? So, and that's what I would assume. I feel like a lot of games are trying to be realistic when at the end of the day, um, you know, a, a, a game being realistic is boring. I feel like that goes against what a video game is. A video game isn't supposed to be like, um, a video game isn't supposed to be realistic in a way, okay? Um, obviously we got games like GTA 6 and I doubt that GTA 6 won't be anything from realistic You know, they're gonna have well, I assume that GTA 6 is gonna have almost anything in real life I feel like GTA 6 is gonna be a, a, a legit like human simulator um, But it's just people robbing banks and stuff and robbing banks and killing people um, But GTA is a game that can do that though GTA is, is, is a open world game that is based off of like the world itself so it, that it's a game that can do that but if i'm playing like for example mortal Kombat, you know and obviously you know the graphics looks you know so real and, and, and so amazing i don't want the game to be too realistic to the point to where people won't even look at the screen anymore people are just going to be just like like you know like even people that got like Iron goat stomachs are gonna like are gonna just be like <laughs> twisted and turning looking at the screen. So again, you know, um, you want to make your game. You don't you don't want you don't want to make your video game not a video game. If that makes sense, um, you want to make your video game fun. I feel like this would be the number one thing. Make your video game fun to play, um, even if it makes you rages. There's a lot of game that makes me rage and lose my mind, but they're so fun that I just keep coming back to them. You know, and so. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, that's that's what I was just that's that's some of my advice. You know, you can make your game look as real as possible, but at the end of the day, make sure that it's still a video game and it's not a TV show. You know, 
Um, other than that, comment down below. What do you guys think of Dave Batista playing <laughs> some Mortal Kombat? It's actually kind of crazy because, you know, I grew up on Batista, you know, watching him in WWE. So um, I think he's uh, acting now. So shout out to him and uh, and his future endeavors and stuff like that. And um, other than that, I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And 